There it goes. Now do you want to start live? Yes, now we're live. Doink. Hey, welcome to Turn 5 Dot Live. My name's Todd Lebroni over here on my right. We've got DJ Jazzy Everett over here. Hi, DJ. Hi. Say hello. Hi. 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 Hey. Cousin hey. Kyle. Cousin yeah. Kyle's in the house Cousin tonight. Kyle. Cousin Kyle. And brother over here Kyle. on the left. What? He's brother. your brother. You can't call him cousin. <laughs> Over here on my left, we got uh, Donovan Johns, the guy in charge of the keyboard in the sound tonight. So I yeah. uh, gotta hey. apologize. Hopefully, you can hear us. Everything good. Neil is standing waiting for the show, so that's good. Hey, Hopefully, Neil. you can hear us okay. The sound quality is gonna be a little bit lower than what we normally have it. I apologize for that. These don't work. These don't matter. So uh, we're on. We're on with what we got. <laughs> first things first. I hope you all had a merry Christmas. What about you guys? Is no, I hope your Christmas it's... sucked. Oh, Great show wow. over here. Yeah. Wow, mom is awesome. Bad Santa. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of fireball involved. Oh, we got to look up there when we talk. Cause it's a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of fireball. No. A lot of fireball. Fireball is his favorite yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 I'm always down with a fireball, too. Yeah. You're, you're a fireball? Oh, yeah. Fireball Kyle Clayton. Here yeah. we go. That's your new nickname. We may very well have a nickname for a racer. Fireball. Brett Hardy, if you're watching, this is Fireball Kyle Clayton. No, we can't do that because John was fired or was uh, yeah. hot, hot shoes. Hot shoes, so yeah. that's different. No, well, no, no, we're going to do this real quick. Uh, Breach was hot pants. Breach, oh, that's right. Breach was. What are you doing? Are you fucking this stuff? I am. No, we're getting just, Kyle into the image. We just turned it since yeah. he's hanging out. Well, that's the end of that. Nope, we're, we're going to break that fucking gear. Break it down! <laughs> We sure appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. First off, we've got to thank our sponsor, Mr. Mark Newman, AC, AC to Z Mechanical. Yes. Fantastic. He was here there. just the other day to fix my water heater. He leak. fixed your water heater. Mm. See, I'm telling you, this time of year, things go bad with stuff. Mark. Mark's the guy that comes and fixes stuff. So if you need somebody, look up Mr. Newman. He's a great guy, good friend of the show. Appreciate everybody back. Um, welcome back, Kyle. Kyle's name is spelled with a C because he couldn't spell when he was young. A C was easier to make than a K. <laughs> right. So I don't understand. Well, we, we like to call him Sile. Sile? Or Cycle. Cycle? Cycle? Yeah, Cycle. Yeah. He's a water Todd. ball. Or... Something. What? How's, how's... Todd. Todd? I don't know how people get Todd. Todd. It, says, it says we're very out of focus. Uh, well, that's because that's you're drunk, Floyd. Fucking Floyd? <laughs> Yo! 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 Floyd! More fireball! More fireball! Don't need to see our ugly faces anyway, so... Yeah, you want to see the zits on my nose or what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a, it's a filter. <laughs> yeah, right? like, we're saving you from looking at it. <laughs> it's a filter. It's podcast where originally there was no video. It was just Today? audio, right? So you're lucky to even see me. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't call it yeah. luck. Yeah. Well, Christmas came yeah. and went. It did. What it did, did. did what did Santa bring to your house? Anything fun? Did you get some socks like I did? No. Um, my wife got me one of those actually. So you're, what you're, were the yeah, speaker. A speaker? A speaker. Hey, speaker. Yeah. Good, good program. And, I, and I if, love you've been, if you've been following um, my posts on Facebook the last couple of days, my son got a, a used Xbox 360 nice. with GTA 5 <gasps> mixed into the... Mixed into the uh, yeah, that was fun. Watch this. So, so he was playing uh, F-bombs and Holy N-bombs crap. and... Stealing cars and hookers and... Hookers. Uh, I love it. Well, teach, teach them young, you know? Yeah. That's what I say. It's kind of like downtown Meridian on a Friday night, isn't it? It's like the racetrack sure, after the show. I'll go to the 127. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> so what'd you get for Christmas? Mm. I got a new dishwasher. You got a new dishwasher? No Dude, I noticed your name's Kim, Kim, right? I, know. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I made a joke about that the other day. Yeah. Well, I imagine so, you know. They, so. Women don't like to be called dishwashers. Talk to me, Al. Have I told you why it's important to get a, a white dishwasher? Or, excuse me, white appliances? Kind of like, well, I'm not, <laughs> not going there. Why? why? It's important that your dishwasher match all of your major appliances. Oh, <laughs> matches all of your major appliances. That was Donovan Jones, really? racist yeah. bastard. These are actually racist. his sheets for later on tonight. <laughs> He's got some work to do over in the neighborhood over by Garden City. Stains. But, oh, that's not right, dude. But that's not right. I'm sorry. What did I get for Christmas? I bought myself a new Dremel. Did you? I bought myself a new Dremel. Dremel. Uh, my father-in-law always does the same thing every year. It's, it's fun as hell. My father-in-law is the sweetest guy, right? And he buys like $100 worth of scratch-off tickets for everybody that comes over to his house. So everybody's got 100 bucks. We sit around and scratch off these scratcher tickets. Nobody wins a fucking thing. It's been right. like 15 years and nobody's won a goddamn thing. Like five bucks is the most we want. One of these years we're gonna hit ten grand or something, and then we're gonna party. The year you don't get right. Well, I won't get shit. I'm the dad. Dad's gonna get shit. Christmas is expensive for me. 
That's right. the way it is. But I love it. Right. I got it. My daughter's in England. I got to talk to her and her wife today, or on Christmas Day. It was really fun. Uh, they opened up their presents on, on Facebook Messenger while I opened up my presents from them. It was a lot of fun. I, I miss Holly immensely, so it was a lot of fun to see them. So, yeah. And TJ, of course, my son was over, and all your kids were in town, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And you got yeah. Manny for some I did, yeah. 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 Got to hang out with him, got to play. Yeah. Uh, he, got a, he got a good little windfall. So yeah. Chris, Santa was good to, to Manny. Well, so. should be. Yeah. He's yeah. in perfect age. Oh, my God. Oh, nuts balls. You know what? So, how's uh, how's Texas treating you these days? Man, it's up until the other day, it's been like in the mid seventies at my oh, house. Wow. Yeah, Kyle's on a sabbatical from Texas. They kicked him out for being too liberal. Yeah, he's too no, liberal. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's not. He, he'd be wearing his "Make America Great" hat again if he, if he had it on. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, Kyle's one of us, so he's allowed. Yeah, yeah. I want to appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight. We got Neil Atham, Scott Gilligan, Chase is on. Uh, Will <clears throat> Will win. Got Derek Barr. <clears throat> Derek Barr is here, right, Derek? Yeah. Um, yeah. How's Scott doing? Scott, how you feeling, buddy? Scott, I hope you're doing good. Yeah. You got enough uh, metal in your back yet, or how's that working out? I've seen pictures of uh, Derek and his uh, friends working there on, working, 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 on some working stuff. on some cars, yeah. man. And to make that yeah. STR their own, which is kind of yeah. neat. Uh, you know, she, uh, Gentry never painted that thing because he said it was slicker, it was faster. I don't yeah. know. So we'll see. Glossy Hopefully paint, can't. nice and fast. Matt, Matt Egley. Too much surface. Matt yeah. Egley's on tonight. Hey! Hey, Hi, pal. Yeah. Merry yeah. Christmas over yeah. there. Yeah. Wow. He's in from Holland Hay. He's in time for the show. He's been modeling his uh, his swag. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you ought to hit it up. That is some uh, nice looking swag. Yeah. It is some nice swag. And hey, I know the Egley, hook us up. We'll give something away for you. We'll give it away right here on the yeah. show. Yeah, we got we got a lot of giveaways coming up. Speaking of that, yeah, um, we're doing something a bit different. I know that you all probably have seen the posts out. The show needs some sponsorship to get better equipment, like better soundboards, oh, so we better have computers that run the show better. You're actually hearing us tonight through a camera up there. Way over there. there. Yeah, you're actually hearing None us from these, the like, camera. Fancy microphones are being used. None of that me. shit works. And it's it's really this guy's fault right here. Because I've got an eight-year-old laptop. Just don't say anything, garage. guys. Just look at the guy in point. <laughs> Old busted ass <laughs> shit is running this show. <laughs> and his computer sucks too. Right? So we'll get. Hey! Well, it sure. does. No. We, we got here at five thirty tonight, five forty-five, mm -hmm. to get this show right, and we ended up where we're at. So the show is up. At least we're, we're the show's up. So we're good. Yeah, we're running. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, is New Year's Eve. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. First things first, get a designated driver when you go get your drunk on. Please. Call an um, Uber. Or t do you call, call an Uber? Yeah. Call a Kyle. You tap the button? Yeah, you just hit the button. Yeah. Kyle's an Uber driver. You may end up getting him. Is tomorrow you working tomorrow? Uh, oh, no, he's drinking. Maybe. <laughs> Kyle, he may be. <laughs> In between drinks, he'll come out and get you. I got to leave the bar to go drive somebody home. No, we'll uh, see. I got, I got the word out. I don't know very many people here in, uh, in Idaho, so... I might go out drinking. You might see me downtown, or you might see me downtown. If you need a drinking state. buddy, get a little cop. Yes. Always yeah. down. He's a lightweight. It's perfect. You pick yeah. him up, pack him around. With I wish ones. I was a lightweight. No, no. You weigh less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I am a lightweight, really? but I can you drink. Can pack your own, you're like, yeah, compared to the three of us, you're like a... You're like a... Dead, you're this like, is three tons of fun up here. You're like Casper, right? Casper the Friendly Ghost there. Where it yeah. Is, man. yeah well, My leg weighs <laughs> more than you. <laughs> I have bowel movement bigger than you. Ooh, well, well, that, that, that is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't doubt that. And that's my little brother. Yeah. Yep, new names him. <laughs> Sam Newcomer. Long time no see. Was Kathleen that Gilligan? Yeah, yeah Sam, Sam Newcomer. Long. One of my favorite I know, I dudes. missed out on seeing yeah. Sam and Michelle last yeah. night. Yeah. We yeah. missed you, Sam. Although I sent him a friend request and he never, like, re He's you know, kind of an asshole. Well, he told me something. Damn. Right? I know. Kyle with the C. I'm, I'm nice. Yeah. Sam? Yeah, maybe he's got too many friends. He any more friends. Yeah, he's, 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 he's at the end of that friend zone well, where, like, where you know. they only give you like two thousand or something yeah, like I don't that know anymore. He's a Californian. <laughs> Californication. <Ooh. coughs> he's seething right now. We're gonna type it on his keyboard. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you ass hat. Uh, so talked to him last night. He's not far from being up here permanently. Yeah. yeah, pretty pretty. Sam's the type of people you want to have in your yes. community. Definitely yes. a cool dude. Yep, the fucking a. Yep. Not like Far and Egly and all these other guys. We <laughs> like you guys. We just really <laughs> like Sam. We, like we play favorites. We like <laughs> <laughs> we like them all. So I appreciate you coming on tonight. What we like to do tonight, we know we already did kind of Meridian each class wrap up. 
We did. But we've got three guys, four guys around the table here. Three guys have been with you since May doing the show. And there's been some good parts of the show. There's been some shit parts of the show. But we wanted to talk... <laughs> we wanted to talk about our personal, you know, uh, favorite things for 2018. Yeah. What are the you things know, we did? Yeah, that we did, and we had fun with our friends. That you guys that are watching a lot of those uh, with the series and things. Um, what was our favorite race, either on television or 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 here locally, and um, yeah. you we're know, out of town, you know, wherever, mm-hmm. wherever we went. What was our favorite time? So we we thought we'd have a show tonight to kind of wrap that up. We have been gone a little bit. That's mostly my fault. I had some totally his fault. Yeah, had some family shit going on <clears throat> going on last weekend. It was Christmas and stuff, and then. The week before that, um, I had a lot of shit going on that night. Let's just put it that way. A lot of things going on. So Kyle and our uncle, we went out drinking and karaoke. Look up there and talk. Week about before it. last, yeah, that hurt. If we wanted to do a show on Sunday, I would have been under the table. I was you guys fine. were all pissed at me for not wanting to do the show. Is that just because well, I was, to be I was gonna do the show, but I was gonna be like <laughs> amateur, right, dude? I'm fucking old and squishy. Dude, Fireball needs to be a sponsor of the show. <clears throat> right? Oof. Fireball is like, you know, Fireball's great, and then the next day it's not great. Oh, man. Yeah. Fireball's I, the worst. Every time I drink that shit, I feel like, you remember the old red tamales? Mm. Yeah. Or the red hots? I yeah. feel like I just ate the whole damn box. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. last time I drank Fireball, my wife will be honest about this and tell you, I drank Fireball over at my house, and I was walking around my whole house with bare feet like the whole day. <laughs> and we were drinking, and it was a barbecue for uh, the Intermountain Pro 4 Challenge Series. Intermountain Outlaw Modifieds, excuse Whatever. me. Intermountain Outlaw Modifieds series. <laughs> I'm serious, Fuck, Fireball flu. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, Jeremy. Je- Jeremy's been there. This is a man who spent 500 bucks on shit he didn't even know what he bought, Indy. And it all arrived in the fucking mail. He did a silent auction for shit. He's not even a fucking Indianapolis Colts fan. He gets like shit from Indianapolis. <laughs> True here's, story, and you know Here's it. the hard part. You know you're not going to be able to load that on eBay either. No. Nobody wants that shit. <laughs> yeah. at, so least, at least the Browns fans buy their shit. I wonder, <laughs> I, wonder how, I wonder how Mrs. Black liked that. I wonder how your wife liked that, the House of Black and White. I wonder how that went down. Do you want to go, yeah. uh, do you want to go over some news that caught my eye over the last few weeks? That's well, better than listening to me ramble. Right? <laughs> I mean, I'm just getting to know So I guess we have a news... This is just it. Some of the stuff, some of the stuff you probably already heard of already, because a couple weeks old. Maybe you nice haven't. Though. Maybe nice you haven't. Loud. Maybe you haven't. Telling me to be nice and loud. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Some news. You guys are weird. I'm taking this moment for the news to grab a beer. Enjoy. So, uh, a, a few weeks ago, um, down in Southern California, the Huddleston and Brucati family have come together and decided they're going to co-promote Irvingdale. It's going to be a long-term deal. So, wow. not sure how many years it's going to be, but Irvingdale's gone from a, a year-to-year thing now to where it's going to be a long-term thing now. Wow, that's so, huge for LA. Brucati and Huddleston. Thank that's you. huge for a lot of the traveling series. Yeah, right? thank, thank you to them. The Spears, so. the Spears uh, Modified Series with the Lucas Oil Health and... Um, and the SRL guys, yeah, that's going to be huge for them. Also, the King Louis has been running yeah. there for like four years in a row, so it's a big help for them. So, uh, you know, it, <clears throat> don't know if you've ever been to the track before. I've been to it. It's just a beautiful track. I hate to see something like that just go away. Well, so, we lost we lost Salt Lake, which yeah, was probably the yeah. second best track. Well, third. Yeah. I mean, if you count Kern, right, right. You no, know, so, so good good news for Irwindale. Um, Like I said, it's they haven't said how many years it's going to be, but it's gone from a year to year status now. Uh, Rick Hendrick was quoted as saying uh, over the last couple of weeks that when it's come for time for him to retire, he already has somebody in mind he's, he wants to have take over. Can you guess who that's going to be? Hey, Jeff Gordon. There you go. Well, Jeff Gordon's going to be taking over when Hendrick decides to hang it up. So whatever that's going to be. So he's, already got, he's already got that in line. So Rick Hendrick's got to be 75. Yeah, he's been at it for a long time. So. Yeah, he's older than you. Good Lord. Fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take your I left hate. eyeball out I hate and allow him to hey, skull I, fuck I, I will have to tell you right now, as a, it's official, This we have 32 people watching right now. This is our highest viewed moment in the history of the show. I, no, we've had it in the 30s a few times. Oh, you're talking, well, they dropped off now. They <coughs> stop. Fuck there you go. Run your Run fucking me. mouth. Green jinxer. Yep. Anyway, right. what else? Okay, so one of our uh, midget friends that from California that has uh, raised that... They Garrett. call them little Garrett. people. Hey, Garrett. I'm sitting on the Garrett. stool to make me ta- taller. 
<laughs> I'm in my out loud voice. <laughs> you guys, you guys are assholes. <laughs> Tonight we are. <laughs> yeah. What's that different than any other night though? That's true. Huh. Um, so one of our one of our friends from California that races midgets. He's been. He's actually You're losing uh, Todd. <laughs> he's actually raced at Meridian Speedway uh, a few times. Jesse Love. Okay. Uh, he's uh, signed up for a partial schedule with Keith Coons. Keith Coons next year. Keith Coons. Yeah. Partial wow. schedule for Keith Coons next year. KKM baby. Yeah. So if you don't know who Keith Coons is, he is. You are uh, following the midget program in the United States. He is. He is the guy you want to drive for when it comes to USAC midgets. Yes. So and you'll be seeing him in two weeks on probably in Victory yeah. Lane, uh, two weeks from yesterday. Right. At the Chili Bowl. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, we talked, you know, Casey Kane, uh, he uh, retired from NASCAR at the end of 2018. If you followed Casey Kane's career, even before NASCAR, you kind of knew what direction he was going to go in. And sure enough, he's got himself a, uh, a 50 race sprint car schedule for 2019 with uh, Wicked Energy Gum as a sponsor. Sure. So Casey Kane jumping back into sprint cars. Yep. Um, from where? Enum Claw, Washington. Washington. Absolutely. Yeah. So welcome back, Casey Kane. I, I welcome back Tony Stewart to the open wheel ranks when he left NASCAR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm welcoming back Casey Kane. I love it. Yep. I, I personally just love this. Oh, I think, I, well, they, yeah. they're stepping up. Welcome back. They're getting the competition stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. It's true. Good it's got to be good when you say, okay, I'm going NASCAR. I'm going to yeah. go back open wheel and do right. this. You know it's got to be good. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, never mind. What little I follow of NASCAR and the entries that have come in the last... Five years. And yeah. Happy to see people with talent going to do something good. Well, if you're not, <laughs> if you're not under the age of 25, you're not going to get a sponsor. Right. And when and you got regardless championship truck teams ditching their championship drivers, you got everyone just going for money, money, money. Let's go have some fun. Let's go race. Let's yeah. put a skill out. Mm-hmm. It's the, that's Other the beauty than of looking what, pretty. It's the beauty of Meridian Speedway, Magic Valley Speedway. Right? You, uh, it's all about Saturday Night Racing, dude. Everett, it's the beauty of what we've got there. The grassroots has to be strong. None of that shit matters. Well, you know I've got the talent to go pro if I wanted to. Oh, I like Saturday Night Nobody Race. says that about you as far as you know. <laughs> Pie, <isn't it? laughs> But if you, have, if, if you have multi-millions of dollars you're going to bring in to a team, they're going to roll out the red carpet for it, no matter, yep. no yeah. matter what kind of skill you yeah. Say it has. So, uh, anyway, it's been that way since the dawn. <sighs> yeah. So, um, don't know if you've been watching down there in New Zealand. I've been so, watching it. Oh, it's some great racing going on down there. It, 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 those who don't know, let's talk about it. Yeah. In New Zealand, this time of year, they have invite. They've invited over the years for mm-hmm. many, many, many years, years. Many years. Um, drivers from the United States to come down and do a little bit of a yeah. challenge Australia racing. Well. Australia. Yeah. Um, and they come down there and they run with those guys. Yeah. Usually, the cars are all down there already. Yeah, uh, it's. I've seen guys in the past send their own cars down there, but usually there's plenty of good cars down there. Yeah. Um, but this year, who do we have down there? Uh, at uh, so they they raced out of New Zealand, Western Springs Speedway. Our buddies Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell, mm-hmm. and Along with uh, who? oh Logan Seavey. Yeah, Logan Seavey's down there. There's Tyler Courtney's down there. Tyler Courtney. Um, a bunch of guys are down there. So and the pass in the grass happened. Yeah, we'll talk, about, haven't seen we'll, that. Talk, we'll talk about that first. Um, okay. So yeah, Christopher Bell put a move on Michael Pickens. Michael Pickens is their hot shoe yeah. down there. He's yeah. their net, and he should probably come to the states and he, run this. Once in a while he does, and he, yeah, once in a while he does. But uh, yeah, he's mainly down there. But uh, last lap turns three and four. Um, Bell, no, put it in the infield. Put it in the infield and made the pass on yeah. Pickens and and made the run to the checker flag. In my opinion, he was already in. If you have seen the video, yeah. uh, essentially they're in traffic big time. Bell had been kind of running him down, but really right. Pickens had him covered if it wasn't for the traffic, right? Track was dry slick. There was nowhere on uh, on the top to run anymore. It's kind of done in three and four. So they were all diving down the bottom, and they were putting the left side wheels actually in the grass. It's a grass infield. They were putting the wheels yeah. in the grass as they were coming around. Well, Bell got a run on him because Pickens got a shitty launch out of uh, turn two. Bell got a run at him and got in there, and Pickens just kept driving him all the way down to the grass. Well, Bell threw the right rear on his Nerf bar, passed him, came out for the win. Yeah, yeah. Underneath the lap car at the same yeah. time, it was yeah, it was freaking crazy. So Bell's got, was awesome. He's got two sprint car wins down there now. Um, later that night, last night, last night, what happened? In the midget race, our buddy Kyle Larson Kyle wins. Kyle Larson, yeah, Elk Grove, California. Yeah, second place was Christopher Bell. So yeah. uh, just miles from where I live, right? Yeah. Like I live in Elk Grove yeah, for a little while. You, I mean, you're sure you were a huge influence on those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Christopher Bell, he's finally getting hitched to his longtime girlfriend, uh, Morgan Kemena, who is Chad Kemena's <laughs> Chad yeah. daughter. daughter. Fight the power. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course, this is a... Uh, and Kyle Larson finally got married after two kids, too. So. Yeah. 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 Um, kind of nice. Driving talent always dries, dies up right after that. 
of course, we're uh, we're tuning up for the uh, the big chili bowl here. Uh, all the January fourteenth, January nineteenth. As of yesterday, three hundred forty-eight entries. Three hundred forty-eight midgets. We still got two. One uh, class of cars. We still now, understand. Two next weekend, go. they've got how many six hundreds and twelve hundreds? They usually get over a thousand. Over a thousand six hundred and twelve hundred yeah. mini sprints will be there as well. Yeah, it's also shootout. It's also shootout. Tulsa shootout. So, so that's yeah. insane. The uh, the record. And yeah, we can get twenty mini stuff. <laughs> we get 24 F1 cars though. In the whole fucking world, you only two that can win. <laughs> yeah. Four that can win. Only one that let's, wins. Let's let's put the fast guy in the pole so no passing occurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it, we won. So to my knowledge, the record number of entries for the Chili Bowl, I think, was 358. Set back. Well, back in 2017, um, okay. they said they didn't they didn't, have, they didn't have an exact count, but they said they had, they had 370 plus. 2017. Well, that's when I was over at your house. I was up to like fucking one o'clock in the morning watching that. Do, 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 so, do, 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 do. We're getting close to that. 348 two weeks ago. Yeah. So. Speaking of which, Adam Nelson's going to have in the beer bar, bar in the beer barn yeah. at Meridian Speedway, which is a lot of fun in there. Uh, he'll have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, in the beer barn. I'm sure it'll be like a five dollar cover or something like that. Maybe not. Maybe just yeah. go in there and drink some beer and have some good food. I got. Taps, all your canned oh. drinks up there. Yep. TVs, yeah. well, not galore, but plenty of good TVs. It'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah. And it'll be a good time, and everybody will get to see each other. It'll be nice and warm because he always mm-hmm. does a good job at that. So. It's always good, too, because, you know, you're supporting the track, you know, and versus yeah. some other random bar that you always, like, might want to hang out yeah. with. And you're so. hanging out with actual race fans. Yeah. yeah. Friends, Actually, no peers. Uh, what's going on on the racetrack. Yeah. Yeah. Not turning the channel looking for football scores and shit. Yeah. The uh, last few years, just <laughs> like the uh, Turkey Night Grand Prix of Ventura with the Chili Bowl, it's been the Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell show. Kyle Larson, and Christopher I, Bell uh, show. I, I pretty much going to bet it's going to be the same way this coming. Driving for Keith Coon Motorsports. Yeah. Um, like so. Jesse Love's going to be doing. Um, and uh, sure. if you haven't, if you've never done this, it's a lot of fun. This year they're having a sixth day. So they're have the qualifying nights are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Those are qualifying nights. How you do in those uh, nights determines... Where your you're seating where Saturday. you're going to be placed on Saturday yep. for your mains. And uh, on Saturday, they'll have, I believe, L mains, two L mains, two M mains, two N mains, and they'll go up, or yeah. I'm going the wrong way, but they go up from there, K, J, I. Yeah. But they go all the way up. Everybody gets to run Saturday, everyone. Yeah. So on Saturday, uh, you move up to top two and move up to the next main, the next main, the next main. Um, so I can't remember the last time somebody came from way back and got in the A main. Uh, they talk about so, it all the time on the broadcast, though. J.J. Yaley, I'm not sure what year he did it. J.J. Yaley came from, like... The F the, or something? Yeah, he came and he made it all the way to the A and, and darn near won it. Um, but uh, the strategy is, is I know it's, and a, it's a tough strategy, win your qualifying night. If you win your qualifying night, you're guaranteed the first four rows of the A main in, on Saturday. So um, win your qualifying night, that'll put you ahead of 200 That's first... First two rows. Now well, it's we'll got five now, so Monday, it be Tuesday, the top Wednesday, five Thursday. starting spots. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. So, um, yeah. first two rows, and then, uh, yeah. So yeah. Monday, Monday being added this year. Um, it's cheap to buy the package. I think it's like 90 bucks to buy the package for the whole week. Uh, well worth it. Saturday night will be televised on MAP TV. Uh, they always do a good job. But all the yeah. preliminary stuff will not be televised. Only they'll televise from, like, the C mains up. Uh, but there'll be mains all the way down to K, double K mains and shit you yeah. can watch online. And the online telecasts are really good. Yeah. Christopher Bell's won it the last two years. Um, although if he wins it again, it wouldn't bother me one bit. He's won it wouldn't bother me either. Last year was a heartbreak. Kyle Larson has yet to win that <clears throat> race. So. And he was the guy, he battled the Swindells. And, oh, and, man. Uh, Sammy Swindell put him in the fence, and, and yeah. uh, it's just on and on. Sammy Swindell and Jeff Swindell, not Jeff, Kevin Swindell. Kevin, yeah. Uh, I'm battling him hard. Kevin isn't racing anymore from his accident. Um, but that event, watching those guys run that hard. I mean, last year, complete heartbreak for Kyle Larson. Yeah. Uh, he had it won. He had lost motor with like 10 to go. Yeah. I uh, had it won. Well, going away. Great. And uh, lost motor. And uh, huge deal. I mean, you could just see the guy. And he's the guy who usually is pretty. He would, he would consider winning the Chili yeah. Bowl his biggest victory ever. Yeah, even Christopher Bell, when he won that race last last year, he was disappointed that Carlerson blew up because he said, I would like to have seen how that race would have turned out 
if Kyler, Kyler Larson would have made it to the end because it would have been a good race between the two of them. Yeah. So. And some of the battles over the years in the past at this race have been incredible. Just to get into the show, there's a lot of money going on down there. A lot of guys buying rides and that kind of stuff. But there yeah. are some there are some people you know with local ties and history and stuff too. I mean, we watch Logan CB. He's raced here. He's raced yep. here in his go karts and stuff. And, sure and um, um, he'll be there. He'll be right in the middle of it. Yeah. He's Keith Coons also. So he'll be right in the middle of it. And yeah. there's always somebody that surprises you a bit. Somebody you start pulling for from one of the preliminary days or something like that that makes it up and gets it through and stuff. And yeah. But it's been a it's been a Keith Coon show the last one hundred years now. Well, they bring um, ten cars. Yeah, so you know it's all Toyota powered, uh, best stuff made. I think they're all beasts, aren't they? Yeah, beast chassis. Yeah. So yeah, but we got we got they go from New Zealand over to Tulsa, essentially. Yep. Sure. What else going on? So, so uh, let's see. Last night they had the twenty first annual Rumble in Fort Wayne. The in, Rumble in, in Fort Wayne. Indoor indoor pavement major. Indoor pavement yeah, midgets yeah, with uh, go karts, quarter midgets. Oh, yeah. what else I have happen? really yeah. started getting into that in, indoor, yeah, uh, the midget racing, the little uh, the little car, the other cars they do, uh, not the go karts, little body cars. I've seen them. What the fuck you talking about? Uh, Primal arrows or something. I think they, I don't know <laughs> like those. Yeah. yeah, but they have the the oh, they're so fucking cool. Yeah. I so, love them. Tony yeah. Stewart was at that event this past yeah. weekend. Him and uh, Mike Dorchek and Rico. Avery was teamed up. Rico, Rico, yeah. yeah. Rico got, couldn't find a ride in New Zealand, so he ended, ended up going to... I wish I needed to go back and look at a video of Rico driving that car, because the, co- the cockpit is pretty well um, exposed. And you can see him in there. You can almost, you just about see his legs. And he's just like... Driving little, the shit out of it, too. Little, <laughs> elbows up. Love the guy, but looks like this little five-year-old driving the yeah, He's driving the hell out of it, you know? You know, so... When he was running outlaw carts, they tried to figure out a way to strap a 500 onto yeah. a box stock. Yeah. Two story. Yeah. So, and yeah. They had, they had a custom design carts for him. So, congratulations, Justin Peck, though. He won uh, his third uh, Rumble in Fort Wayne at the uh, Allen County War Memorial Coliseum last night in Fort Wayne. So, congratulations, Justin Peck. Justin Peck, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. And they were allowing him to run the Badger cars and all that, weren't they? Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, that the Munchkins and, um, and shit. The Munchkins, Dorchick and Rico and Stewart. All munchkins, and there's some of the guys that ran munchkins as well. So, munchkins uh, is a type of midget that's a little bit offset. Uh, they were favorite. Fedorchek was the first guy to run yeah. him on. Uh, usually it was at the speed drum, and he was pretty much unbeatable there. And then they ran him. He ran him a couple of times at IRP, Indianapolis Raceway Park, which is now Lucas Oil right. Speedway, and never really did well at that. Uh, the traditional midget seemed to be a little yeah. bit faster. Yeah, but, yeah. But the tight, tight bull race, you kick a wood's ass out. So yeah. So yeah, so uh, don't know if you also heard. I think it was just announced today that Sarah Jackson is pregnant again. I didn't know that. I I saw one of them. Yeah. So. Well, good to them. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. Congratulations, congratulations to them, to, right. to Johnny and Sierra, expecting uh, number two here pretty soon. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good news. Yeah. Um, yep. Let's see. Favorite moment of two thousand eight. You ready for that? Sure. You ready to go into yeah, that I'm kind of stuff? Are you done with all your stuff? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to think about that one, though. You guys go and go first if you want, but I'm going to think about that one. I don't know. Well, let, let's, let's go through some series I, first. My favorite moment in Formula One is always Monaco. I love getting up early on uh, on that morning and watching the pageantry and everything in Monaco. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and having an, uh, an underfunded team, I guess, a uh, guy who just drove his ass off when it was pretty cool. I can't remember who won it. Uh, but, Daniel, Daniel Ricciardo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he won. He won Monaco this year. Wasn't something that you'd you'd see coming, I think. Right. And he kept the car clean and ran fast all weekend and, and did really well there. That's my. What about Formula One for you? What was your favorite moment? Uh, you know, just the, the just. I'm not sure. It wasn't really. I mean, even though I love the Belgian Grand Prix, that's my favorite F1 track. I've said that before. It's Spa. In Spa. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, just Lewis Hamilton winning. Um, 11 wins in his fifth world championship. Um, he is within striking distance now. Mike Schumacher. <coughs> he, uh, Just uh, don't go skiing, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Hamilton ended up with 73 career wins. <laughs> don't go skiing. Just wrong, isn't it? <laughs> Too soon. Too, well, it's been like five years since he got hurt. <laughs> yeah, Hamilton ends, uh, ended up 2018 with a total of 73 career wins now. And so he's within striking distance. We've talked about this before. Five world championships. Um, if he has two more years of what he had this year, um, he's he's gonna do it. Wow. So 
Um, there's that. And I think uh, the nighttime races that F1 had this year, the last race of the year at Abu Dhabi, it was awesome. Abu Dhabi? Do it. Freaking nighttime race. So they, they've got a few nighttime races this year. That nice. Was, uh, just loved it. So. Um, yeah. What, okay. what about Formula One? What was your favorite moment? <laughs> For me, in any anybody who races Spa in a fast fucking car, uh, when they come up, uh, and I always forget the name of it, when they come uh, after the sort of finish, the big, right, the big U-turn, the and, right they turn, come up and, and then go down to, it's called a Rouge. Yeah, a Rouge. Yeah. Just watching any car going yeah. 200 miles an it's hour. Called, is that code red? Through that. that. I think yeah. that's code red. In French. Yeah. It's just <coughs> freaking amazing. It's a, it's a downhill, uphill, left, right, left. Oh, wind crest at the top, 200 miles an hour. Sounds like it's a dance insane. movie. In, anybody who can do that, do that well and do that lap after lap, I could just watch that corner all day long. Yeah. In India. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I love watching, oh. uh, especially when they put them side by side with when you have the GTs and, and everybody else and you see the, the speed difference. F1 yeah. in that corner. Yeah. Well, you guys have done that in, in, in Ireland. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and, Oh my gosh. I never spa. Oh, you have it? Oh, hell no. Oh, and an F- <laughs> oh my God. I'm just, trying to figure <laughs> the dirt ninja right just now. Just the, the, the technical side of, of hitting each and every mark perfectly. If you hit those turtles or the rumbles too much, it just upsets you. If you don't hit them enough, you're not getting the corner right and just feeling that way. And, then, and you don't know if somebody's wrecking out in front of you. You just got to keep your eye on the prey yeah. and keep your eye on your, on your differences. These cars are so darn technical and they stick to the road so well these days you can actually maybe not 200 miles an hour but you can get two guys going through that turn at 180 plus probably mm. and i've seen it done before in yeah. that race and uh yeah those, those, those cars i'll to show kyle do it for sex yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so let's let's go to a different series how about cup I am proud to say that i have not watched a cup race uh <laughs> in quite a long time so I, I read the highlights and follow the news. Uh, what was your favorite moment in, in Monster Energy Cup racing? Uh, <laughs> from uh, from this year, uh, what, what's the the twenty two, uh, yeah. and that the battle they had uh, coming into the short track, Martinsville. Yeah, yeah. just oh, yeah. The, those highlights of watching some He's dumb fuck get payback. <laughs> just I don't know what payback or a retribution. No, it wasn't any of that. Which which way? Because they did it back to back. They passed they, him pretty clean. No, what I'm talking about. Oh, was that last year when they put him in the wall? Oh, well, you're talking about Kenseth. Kenseth. Yeah, Kenseth. Kenseth, 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 Kenseth uh, that's like that's not this year. Bro. I don't see. I don't follow the. I don't care uh, about the races. They're all boring as fuck. And I can talk about Chad. Chad and I are chatting on here. It, all that napgar shit can go away, and I'd just be happy as fuck. Chad would. Chad. Chad likes uh, the show, so he yeah, would, yeah, he would, team. Chad wouldn't be happy if that went away. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Bush would go drive something that takes, you know, talent. He's got talent. He just got. I know he does. He's got a mouth. I love it. He's just bad I, for the sport. I lo- no, he's awesome he's for, bad the sport. for the sport. He's I'll argue all day long. Both Bush brothers are perfect yeah. for NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is we need like twenty more of those guys in there. No. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it anyway. Give me but freaking. Watch give me Ryan Newman. He's not back. good to the fans. Who, who cares? Bush isn't good for the fans. I mean, none of them are are good. That's you got to. You either too fucking boring. No more beer. Get in. Get that out there. Yeah. Johnson not winning a damn thing. Best mm-hmm. moment. <laughs> Thirty six times. That's probably. Weird. I love it, Davis. I, I I can't pinpoint a favorite moment. There's a few of them. Maybe you know, Austin Dillon winning the opening Daytona 500 20 years after um, the number three won the Daytona 500. Um, of course he. He went through Derek Amarillo in the last lap. He went drove right through, through that fucking so. line. <laughs> There's that. Um, oh, mine's easy. I um, mine's easy. It was the slide job, uh, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch. Um, I think it was California. It was, one, it was one of those big. It was either. Yeah, uh, Larson uh, just needed yeah. to relax. He'd have passed him on the back shoot, but he, yeah. he slid him, he slid him hard, and Dell Jr. going slide job and yeah. all that shit. Yeah. Of course, Larson had it coming uh, yeah. down in three when he got dumped. But you knew Pussy Bush was going to do that. He yeah. was going to. You knew Pussy was going to hit him. He yeah. could, you know, that's what Pussy. But I do want to. I do want to say one thing. Um, if you look at all three NASCAR champions this year, um, the way the um, playoffs are set up, people don't like playoffs. I know you guys don't like playoffs. I can go either way. <clears throat> but when you have a when you have a, a championship race like the Super Bowl, where 
whoever wins is going to be your champion for the year. You're it's going to you're going to have an upset um, as, it, as it was this year, and all three of your champions this year: Joey Logano, uh, Tyler Reddick, and Brett Moffitt. They're upset champions for this year. So Logano with three wins, Reddick with two wins, Brett Moffitt had six wins in the Truck Series, and they had a best your champion this year. All three of them. So, um, you know. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, some, just something to think about. That, you know, not, not good or bad, just something to think I just, about. I see why it happened, and it's the greed you know. of racing, I guess, is the part that pisses me off the most. The chases and all these things were there simply yeah. because they were losing TV rights, or TV viewers, yeah. during uh, football. Football came on, people turned the channel, and they couldn't sell you Tide, they couldn't sell you Budweiser, they couldn't sell you Michelob or um, generic brands, or whatever the hell they were selling you, you know? I wish, wish them you'd have that. <laughs> but... Um, they weren't being able to sell you stuff. So that to me, it's just, let's make something up and force feed it to our fans. Yeah, and, yeah it's yeah. great, fans. It's, yeah. it's great. It's, no, it's it money. It's knee-jerk bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And and Brian France is not, you know, the acorn fell way far away from the oak. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, the difference it's, is my fault. I won't get personal <laughs> with that. <laughs> In dirt racing, uh... The highlight of the year for me um, was last year's Chili Bowl. Uh, Kyle Larson had him covered in a car that his dad owned. Keith Coons prepared motor from Toyota, yes. But his dad bought the car a few years back and had been preparing it. Somebody else drove it the year before in 2017. And Kyle got in his dad's car that you know and, and had him covered. And the motor let go. Yeah. Threw a rod right outside fucking box, bigger and shit. <coughs> and, um, you know, that still Christopher Bell... How could you not like that kid? And he's as good as they get, driver-wise. And uh, yeah. and he won. But um, the quality of the whole show for the Chili Bowl was my favorite thing for 2018 in dirt racing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine was um, Brad Sweet winning the Mexico Nationals. Mm-hmm. We beat uh, Donnie Schatz, multi-time winner of that, of that so freaking race. And yeah. uh, was kind of the last lap, so um, just barely edged out Donnie Schatz there at the line. Knoxville, so yeah. congratulations to him. That was like quite a feat. Yeah, that was. It's hard to do. He's one of the best. Yeah. Does. I've been working on watching a lot more 360 uh, wing sprints and getting more into that. I don't I don't know enough of the drivers yet. I just know that when I watch the 360s, they put on such a good show. So just in general, anything that came across on the highlights uh, from Facebook or, or what little TV I get to watch. Um, between the 410s, 360s, and the other guys, those 360s put on just such a great show. And what does get televised, that's been something I've been I've been learning. Because for me, dirt was for people who didn't know how to, didn't, couldn't afford to get asphalt on their track. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but uh, the the, the, the skill set of doing it yeah. is awesome. And watching, and I've never been an, even an asphalt wing fan. I just I don't care. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But now that through iRacing, <laughs> learning the difference between the 410s, 360s, the, the dirt, late models, street stocks, the 360s, I just I love the craftsmanship of that skill set. It's uh, so just in watching that, that's that's been a highlight for me this year in dirt. It's just watching 360. Well, 410, go. you can make your mo- if you lose your momentum, you can get it back. Real quick. <coughs> a 360, you have got to keep the momentum up. You got to plan your passes. You got to plan your. It's a lot course. more here, from what I've seen and learned. Uh, you don't have that. You can't make it up. But you're also like in the in the lesser ones. You're not like, fuck. Your whole race is screwed yeah. because you lost it in the corner. But you know, for me with dirt, it's not it's not the engine. It's not three sixty versus four ten. It's for me, it's actually non wing versus wing. I see. I like the non wing. I've been a non wing. If you want, if you want a lot of side by side stuff, a lot of side by stuff side stuff on dirt. Watch USAC sprints and midgets. The old CRA. And yeah, USAC CRA and. Um, Use like national sprints. I'd love to see the Belleville Nationals midget races on TV. Yeah, yeah, and there's some tracks in the Midwest in Indiana that are just outstanding. Kokomo, um, just a lot Terre of Haute. yeah. Terre, there's a lot of a lot of side, great side by side stuff with non wing use that guys. If you want pure speed, and it's with a spring car on dirt, which is impressive as well. You know, watch the Knoxville Nationals, the, the mm-hmm. huge huge half mile. Even Belleville when when um, they went. And Bruel of Ellis stopped at Belleville as well. Huge, huge half, mile, huge half mile, huge half mile tracks, um, which is impressive to watch those guys as well. The, the uh, how fast those guys yeah, can get. Thirteen seconds on a half mile, just by Jeez. getting around. 100, you know, some of those guys oh. are doing 150 plus. 
they um, they don't go to the one mile dirts anymore. Too freaking dangerous. Yeah, I remember it's, watching the World of Outlaws on Syracuse. Yep, and yep. the mile at Syracuse before yep. they shut it down, and that was um, I watched it on YouTube or something. Yeah, like yep. no, 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 don't do that. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's hard, hard enough watching the big block modifieds that were there. They were right. on ass so much, you know. Um. Yeah, that, the uh, Indian State Fairgrounds so the Outlaws went there as well. So they're, those guys are doing 100, 160 plus on the straightaways. I wonder if they ever ran like Sacramento. They never ran Sacramento. They uh, sure they did once or twice. Didn't they? USAC still crowned it um, mm -hmm. at, at Sacramento a couple times. So, <laughs> but um, good mile trains. God, those tracks are. I went to the motorcycle races at Sacramento a while. Uh, just in watching those Harleys do the the mile at Sacramento. Those guys are hauling. Yeah, they're crazy. Those are the craziest oh. guys. Dan Lowther, if you're listening out there, you're the man. Did Lowther do the... Oh, Lowther's done that. That's what he oh, does. Yeah. Balls, yeah. man. Those guys scared the shit out of me. What's your favorite dirt track in the country? There's a lot of good ones. A lot of good ones. <coughs> um, of the ones I've been to, I, that's the only thing I can go to. Uh, loved the atmosphere at uh, at Volusia. Volusia, yeah. Um, or second, I'd have to say probably Old Manzanita. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere there with the cactuses and everything was cool. Mm -hmm. um, as far as like, as far as like what you see on the, on the racetrack, which are even the ones you Com competition-wise. Yeah, even the, the ones you haven't been to, um, that you see on TV. Eldora. Yeah. I agree with you, Eldora's. Eldora, you got to drive the bottom. you yeah. got to be real technical. And, uh, you know, if you throw it in on the bottom with all that speed, it's really hard. Um, um, Non-wing and wing put on a great show at Eldora. Yeah. So. I've, I've been to Chico, Mike. Um, yeah. When I was at Chico, it was right after a storm. The track was sucky, so I don't know if I can say that. Um, Skagit's fun. Skagit's tight. you got to drive the shit off. you got to drive the shit out of your car. Yeah. Skagit. Yeah. And went there a ton. I think Skagit is the only dirt track I've actually been to that's a real dirt track outside of like Meridian and and uh, the the little outlaw car track. Like Placerville or was it? We went to one in high school. Was it Altamont? Not Altamont. Mm -hmm. uh, something like Stockton, Altamont area. There's a yeah, little dirt track down there. There's a out there. shit hole, clay track, yeah. awful surface. Chow Chilla. <laughs> uh, it was it was about an hour and a half. So south of Sac, down to that area, two hours south. Chow Chow. Maybe it's a little dirt, dirt shit track just off the freeway. Like yeah, it's almost like Hermiston. <laughs> it's like freeway <laughs> front stretch. <laughs> Antioch, good call. Yeah, Monopolis. You know, like there, there's always there's a lot of talk about Knoxville Raceway. Even though they have the, the most prestigious prestigious brick race in the world there every year, um, I still will take Eldora over Knoxville. Um, Knoxville, Car the Knoxville. Knoxville. Eldora, you gotta drive it. Knoxville. Um, it's it's a it's it's a super fast track and they get strung out there pretty quick. Eldora at least they don't get strung out as bad. Um, still a lot of side by side stuff though at Eldora. What's your so favorite paved track? While we're talking about that shit, yeah, that's a good that's a good paved. topic. Oh geez, I've been to a ton of paved tracks. Mm. That's what that's what I can have feedback on. Uh, um, for action. Sure. Let me go under this. a mile. Under a mile. Oh yeah. Let me let me think about this for a second. Three mile and bigger starts to suck. <laughs> I, I know, uh, Phoenix is fun. At Phoenix is. There's a. There's, yeah. There are few and far between tracks that are greater that are one mile or greater that are entertaining to watch at. Mm -hmm. Phoenix has got a little bit of specialness to it. Uh, we went to the uh, uh, Pensacola, tons of times. That was a fantastic yeah. track. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 before the walls. Yeah, it was yeah. so fucking cool to race down there in the eighties. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, before the walls, um, man. I seen brand spanking new race cars, man. Done. Gone that fast. <laughs> you can see the trees. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> and I was having had that opportunity for four or five years down there to, to go there. Uh, there was another track went up to in northern Alabama a couple times. Mm -hmm. Was it Montgomery? I think so. Yeah. Was it Montgomery? Right. The, the yeah. Alabama you, National. There's Alabama National Speedway up there. There's. Uh, I think it was Montgomery we went to a couple of times. We raced yeah. up there, and that was. Mm -hmm. Just, I remember seeing the track and coming onto the track from, from Mobile mm -hmm. and going, fuck, this is a great track. And just having that moment of, <gasps> whoa. Uh, Pensacola just put on great races every time we're yeah. down there. Yeah. But, uh, so we used to race Friday night Mobile, Saturday night Pensacola. Pensacola. Yeah. 
we were racing three nights a week there sometimes. Yeah. It was awesome. They played all the time out there. Oh, man. I think, wasn't it Wednesdays we go to, uh, uh, was it not over in Louisiana? They had a track over there. Nah, I don't remember that part, but... Um, yeah. A lot of mid, mid, mid California tracks, awesome. It is the the three eighth mile track in my, is my heart. I love it. It's just big enough where you can still yeah. afford to race, but not small enough where you're just battling and, right. and yeah, record there's, equipment. There's a lot of people that would probably say Tucson because of the progressive banking and stuff like that. Right. Um, you know, as far as that goes, but my, you know, all time as far as putting on a race and having the driver make a difference in um, paved track, mm-hmm. the Chaparral. Chappie, Chappie's just like a lot uh, of those tracks, too. Yeah, it had all kinds of character. It, uh, yeah. Super oval, chaparral, whatever you want to call it, it had, especially as it aged, it had a lot of a lot of personality. I mean, mm-hmm. you, the driver made a difference. You strapped your car on, and you could make a difference. If you wanted to go faster, you'd... Yeah. I mean, it... it, it, it was as, a driver's as it aged, track. As it aged, it would tear the shit out of your tires. So you really had to be um, thinking... How long is this race? I mean, and you were done. At the end of the night when you were done at Chaparral, your tires were done. And, you know, the best thing that could happen to you is your tires fall apart right after you cross the, the checker flag. And, um, Doing your burnout and done. But that was, yeah. of all the tracks I ever raced at, that was my funnest. And, and some of the races that we had out there uh, mm-hmm. back in the day, back in the old, I'm talking 1980, uh, 81, 82, super modified races with the Snevas and my brother-in-law, Van Graves, um, Mark Edson, and Tom Naylor, um, Bill Madsen from Salt Lake, the Nish family. Those races were insane good. Mickey yeah. Numa from Spokane. Uh, uh, great races. And the, and the Super Sixes and the Hobby Sox. And then the Rocky Mountain Challenge Series had some fantastic races there. What banking is that Chaparral? Anybody know what that uh, was? 38 degrees. 30? 30. 30. That's pretty slow. That's pretty slow. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck yeah. No, it, it, was a, it was a no, bolt. No, that's wrong. The old, the old Bristol was 36. Yeah, yeah it's not. The, it's, it's not a size Bristol. Old um, Roseville was the same banking as, 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 as Bakersfield. Bristol? Bristol. And yeah, I remember that's, watching that's what all was American the banking All American Speedway in Roseville. I know, that, I know that Chappie was whiter than Indianapolis and haven't been on Indianapolis in quite a few no, times. Chappie ago. was huge. Oh, it's white. There was, you had plenty of places you could, if your car wasn't working, it was pushy, you could fix it. If your car was loose, you could fix it. You just found a different place to yeah, ride. Yeah, change your and lane. And so the, the driver really made a difference. And uh, the guys who were really, really good out there could mm-hmm. figure it out and make it work. Your uh, Melissa Weavers, your, um, oh, God, uh, Brian Warps, of course. Um, yeah. uh, Kenny Hamilton, Davey Hamilton. They could, they could figure out a way to make it work out there. I will say the best super mod races I've ever seen were at Chappie. Mm-hmm. The it super mods super at Chaparral mods. were insane. Oh, I don't know about that. They were, it's, it, for being <laughs> they, on a track. They were fantastic oh. races. But the best, uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. There's mm-hmm. been some fantastic races there. Um, super modified races at Madero, and they're really going. I've never been to Madero. How about super modified at Phoenix? Oh, well, they were usually all <laughs> crash fests or, or <laughs> spread out. I mean, Scary crash fests. The best one right. was, the best one was Davies Race in, um, when he when he started with the long car after Schrader didn't want to drive and, and they hurt the car, and he he ended up starting dead last in the long car that was built for Phoenix that uh, Hyder built for Phoenix and he started 26 and won the race going away and he had to come from last to first twice and uh, did it and um, that was my favorite race yeah but they're going so damn fast <clears throat> the racers are usually pretty spread out there in Phoenix yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, fantastic races at the old Bonneville in the Super Modifieds. But Chappie was... Yeah. I remember a race up in Victoria one time that like eight different guys led and back and forth and guys passed each other That's at, at Victoria and Super Mods. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Mark Floyd says Supers at Oswego. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was the D track? Is that, uh, is that is Ultimate the D track in Central California? Like big, long front stretch, the back stretch, tight turn. You just yes, uh, down. yes, a Tracy California, Tra- Altamont yeah. Speedway. Yes. I remember the first time we went down there, and that was that tripped me out because I'd never seen a D. I mean, there's no back stretch. It's like tight corner, long corner, tight corner, front stretch. Yeah. And there's like, some curious. The- there's some people watching that are going to say Todd Tri Cities because it was a triangle. It was actually yeah. it was, <coughs> I was about to say. straight straight front shoot, mm-hmm. and then it kind of went around to a triangle thing around <laughs> the back. 
you let off going into three, let your motor live for a, a couple seconds, then pounded that sucker back into one all the way around. And gearing That's that it. thing for a four cylinder when I was running there, oh my God. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Neil would be the first one to tell you we fought and fought and fought and fought that racetrack, but he ended up doing really well there. Um, it was a mini Pocono race with. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Concord Motorsports Park in North Carolina. Concord. Yeah. 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 Triangle. I hate it's Concord. There's another one in the it's Midwest it's where the trucks would go around too. It used to be on my racing. Yeah. Um, there's a small track, small bouldering track the trucks used to run at in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, there you go. And yeah. it was weird that one was like a 90 degree. And the way that it was described to me was the back part of the track was elevated. And so they're actually, they were going uphill and it would have made the turn to come back downhill and then right. straight away. And see, that sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't tell on TV. When you came but, out of turn two, you were like catching the thing. Well, this yeah. used to be, this like, used to be an iRacing or something. Yeah, the games. No, they, I think it's, it's still in there. It's just no one runs on it. Stock 299 would, had like two different, like, yes, a tighter one and you had a bigger one. I never got to race there, but I was like wanting to. Yeah, we went to Stockton a couple mm -hmm. of times. That's yeah. similar to uh, Hermiston. I like Hermiston because you're running, you're running uphill, put that big three and four or one and two, come downhill into the tight, or excuse me, back up. Tight one and two, big three and four coming downhill. And you just, it's so different on each entry. It's fun. You get to come up on that, kick up that high side on the back stretch. Use that as a jump to come back down. <laughs> That's fucking fun. Yeah, the, um, the two <laughs> the two pavement tracks that stick out in my mind. Um, I'm gonna put them in two different categories. The first one is just freaking just flat out scary. I've seen it on TV many times. Is Winchester, Indiana? Oh fuck yeah, Winchester, yeah. Indiana. And they run the fucking sprint cars, and they go, "Oh my god, yeah. no, don't wreck." Of course, please. That's, unfortunately, that's I believe that's the track where Rich Vogler lost his life, right? No, he lost at Salem. Salem. I couldn't tell if it was in Winchester or Salem. Yeah. But uh, Salem's almost identical to Winchester, but Winchester's, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, well, Winchester, something. like, a guy owns it, it's like in his backyard. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's weird, because his house is like the press box and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. Everyone, everyone into the kitchen! Work. Yeah, I've been, there. I've, I've been there just to uh, I, to see if there wasn't a racer. It's weird, like, isn't it? Yeah. The guy's like 95 yeah. years old. Hey, you fuckers racing today! All right, well, I want my money! <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it, the, it needs to be resurfaced, but it'd be yeah. so damn fast. Yeah, looks like one of the old board tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, in South Texas, we don't have any pavement tracks. We got uh, yeah, one. We have well St. Marcos area. Yeah, that's not south. I mean, I'm south. But uh, so I was at the bar one day, and uh, there's a dirt track there, and I went there a couple times. But dirt and humidity equals mud, so screw that. Um, so we're like talking. She's like, "Yeah, yeah." Like her, her like somebody owns the track in her family. And she's, "Well, we have our own track in our yard." And I was like, okay. So she pulls out her phone and she's like, show me video. So they have a real dirt track in their yard. Flag stand. Flag all. stand. I mean, it's a freaking real race speed, speedway. Well, so DJ's like, going to build one of those for us. When right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. New dirt track coming to the area. See, I think we can build like a, a three-eighths mile asphalt with a dirt track on the high side. There's a couple of tracks across the country that are like that. Seriously? Um, and vice versa. Dirt track on the inside, asphalt on the outside. <laughs> Dover, looking, but that's a horse race. i got to look it up, but there's, uh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of tracks across the country that are like that. I, just, I, mean, I, like, so. I like bigger dirt tracks and smaller asphalt tracks. It just seems like a good combination. Yeah. Thank you, Todd, for the beer. Your sponsor for the night. So, let's, Merry let's, Christmas, let me, ask you, let, me, let me ask you guys this. I'm not sure if we're going off topic here, but let me ask you this. We don't have a topic. If, if you guys are going to build build a track, dirt or pavement, what size and what configuration uh, would it be? Three eights. What, what configuration would it be? You know, interesting. There was a guy named Jeb Onweiler who was here in Boise for a while, and the old timers will know what I'm talking about. He had an idea of Idaho Motor Speedway, and it was a, basically a small trial. It looked like Charlotte or, or Vegas, mm -hmm. and it had a flat back chute and it had a dog like front chute. So that all the fans could see, you know, that's why Humpy wanted to build that way, is so that people in the front chute always had 360 degrees of vision, could see the whole racetrack. He had that planned and drew out. It might not be a bad idea if you were doing a. I don't know if the three eighths would be big enough, but if you did if you did a, a triangle like that with the D essentially the D in the front, mm -hmm. it'd be interesting. It, it'd have to be really close on design. It, yeah. You know, Adam when he was thinking about uh, uh, exit three speedway when it was over when we you know he was trying to make a racetrack and build a new one. Uh, I think he had an idea of doing a triangle. 
a pretty severe triangle, like an isosceles. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at it and I said, what do you do? I'm going to go with the rumbus. the land the best way I can. And I'm like, all right, he goes, well, I change it. But uh, if he's listening, he'll probably say something about that. I, I'm all for a triangle. I mean, yeah. you know, just, Fuck yeah, do something different. What the know, hell? Yeah, just huh? in, the, in the traditional. I, uh, what I, would you build? You know I love dirt, so <laughs> it would be a three eighths, um, and it would definitely have some decent bank to it. Three eighths with bank, yeah, like twenty degrees. I think the reason why I say that with, with sprint cars, um, you get them at a half mile. Of course, like I said before, they're fast, wicked fast, and a half mile. But I like that side by side stuff. Get them on a three eighths or less, three eighths or a quarter. You get a little more side by side action. Yeah, you know. I, I so. think quarters tend to be. On for bigger cars, quarters are too small. Mm-hmm. Three eighths are about right. Halves are they're now they're just getting stupid dangerous. But you tend to get that you best racing out. on a smaller. I, I'd call it a small three eighth. Uh, like Meridian's kind of a small quarter. RMR. I see. I've never been to RMR, but that's I haven't. Every time I was trying to go down there, I better hurry up. <laughs> it's gone, isn't it? Well, you go watch him dose it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I like that kind of the smaller, tighter 3.8, bigger than a quarter. So like the third groove at Meridian would be the inside. Or the race groove. Well, a, a medium bank. Valley's a third mile. Right. So just this... I, about there, I love the variable banking. I Meridian's the first time I ran variable. I freaking love it. I want to choose if I can run high or low. Or mid. I I would build that slightly bigger. If, if Twin had more variance to the banking... That would, that would be awesome. I would, I'd put that third group fucking 30% you know, and go to town. Progressive banking is kind of cool. Too, like you mentioned Tucson, Irwindale. Three wide all the time at Irwindale mm-hmm. with that progressive banking. No matter, no matter what runs there. No matter uh, what runs. DJ Hamilton was running the apron yeah. in his sprint yeah. car and yeah. all it asks. See, yeah. I, I like Iowa where you can choose high and low. I love I love so that's watching my I favorite iRacing racing track. I just eat I racing watching the K N N guys there, the trucks there, Which anybody who runs there. I like how Iowa lays out. For a, that's the biggest track I like. Like I would go watch a race in Iowa. It, it's like twenty hours away, so I'm not right. gonna. So let's go. Let's change the topic. Over a mile. What's your favorite mile and over? What's your favorite track? That, that include Phoenix and stuff. Well, the Phoenix, the. It was pretty fucking fun. <laughs> my, my racing event of the year was our Silver Crown race. Fuck yeah, that was an awesome race. Silver Crown race. But it, I was it, actually competitive in it for a while. I think I finished fourth or fifth or something. Yeah, you were doing good. Yeah. I don't I don't know. That's hard. Because Darlington. Darlington's awesome. Uh, Darlington is all sorts of respect. Although... Love old school. Old school there. Yeah. Darlington, Darlington. What was... Was it New Hampshire that had a... a mm. No, kind of flat. that. Where, where was the? No, no, it was because I like that. Like my favorite short track is freaking Pocatello. I love it. I freaking love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, off the top of my head, I'd have to say Phoenix right now because of the, like, yeah. that configuration. It, it's there, the yeah. right amount of non-banking, but banking. Yeah. It's the right amount of you can get some good quality racing in there, but you have to think your way yeah. through it. You can't only run it. You no. got to be cool. And you got to be that, patient. You got to breathe. You got to do and your thing. They come out of the. The start finish line, and that I guess it's called the front straightaway now. Yeah, you can go all the way. I mean, you have like I don't know, 100 feet, 200 feet to race on. Yeah, so, yeah. we went to the uh, inaugural NASCAR race down there. Uh, Me too. I yeah, I, I was on the hill. And, and I when they when they did the configuration change, I was like, oh, this is not, this is horrible. And then went to a race. I'm like, holy fuck, this is way better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, way back it was cool. Way back, it was it was cool when they still had the. I'm talking, I'm old. So they had a road course. You know that was a mm-hmm. they had a road course incorporated into yeah. it. They went out in the back chute and went up into the hills and shit, and came back on. So there was <coughs> not the infield. Yeah, I'm talking, yeah, yeah the outside. Right, huh? And the very first Copper Cup actually included circle track and road course racing. Ooh, that would be cool. They had Formula Fords That's or something like that out there. I love the Formula Fords. Yeah, they had something like that out there. Um, Interesting. So, I don't know. Uh, as far as racing it, mile and over, um, hard to beat Charlotte. With a, as it wears out, Atlanta all worn out. Uh, I'm telling you, Charlotte. Cookie cutter. 
Sacramento Mile. Floyd in the Mile! Floyd in the Mile! Floyd in the Mile. The coin! The coin, yeah. I spent a lot of drunk days at the Mile. They had cheap drinks there. <laughs> you know? Watch the horse racing. The, the, Amy, the, Amy, Amy flat tracks in the Mile. It's kind of cool to watch. Yeah. And I, the, I like just, a, oh, just enough too. banking to help. Without being like an insane amount of banking. Yeah. Oh, yeah totally. Supercross next Saturday night. Just make sure you. I uh, think the Seahawks play the Cowboys. What? Here? What's that? Supercross here? No, Anaheim. Supercross Anaheim. Oh, who starts here again? Not here. Anaheim. Oh, dude. I mean, I like watching it, but I mean, like, don't Supercross. get me excited for Supercross. I'm like, yeah, let's go. And then like, fuck, can't make it. I was trying to buy tickets on the when you were in the car that one night and yeah. sold up. Well, they, we got they home. aren't doing Salt Lake this year. No, to it's not like closest it'll be is uh, Seattle. And uh you Vegas, to Seattle? Vegas. Yeah, there we go. Well, we could drive any Supercross fan Todd and I found out we're Supercross fans as well. So any Supercross fans out there? I like the the, the, the newer one that they've come out with. But then you put the rocks and the tree stumps and all that shit. Yeah. I love that. I, every time I watch that, I'm like, look at this. I, cool. I can't go back in my mind to Bob Hurricane Hannah jumping on those Ricky Carmine. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what do they call that? A mo- not motocross. It's like enduro cross, cross or something. Uh, Eurocross. Euro, yes. Euro cross, yeah, because yeah, you got to be Euro. You cross dress to fucking ride it. It's still <laughs> fucking cool. You, you, cross, like, you still cross dress. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> enduro cross, yeah. Well, um, enduro. I said Euro. <laughs> enduro cross. So we're uh, reviewing the year here. I want to give a shout out to uh, 2018 IndyCar champion Scott Dixon. Believe it or not, that, that I'm was sure his, he's watching. He's uh, right. his, no, he's in like Scott's uh, watching, right? That, that he's was right his, there. Uh, that was his fifth championship, and that ties him with AJ Foyt. Believe it or not, yeah. So, but did he win uh, Daytona? But did he win? No, but he won the Indy 500, and he won the 24 hours. But has he won the coin? Did, did he race? Coin. Did he win any races that mattered? <laughs> Indy 500, 24 hours of Daytona. Yeah, the Rolex 24, he won twice. Yeah. God, you guys are hurt. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Sorry, Scott. Someone's going to show him that clip. <laughs> and we'll probably get sued for it. Gonna see it. I don't think they're going to show him. Yeah, so shout out to him. Yeah. yeah. 44 career Who wins else in IndyCar. What else you got? Uh, Dude, he typed a book while we were sitting here trying to get this show to work. When I heard that we were going to do an hour trying to get it done, uh-huh. I heard we were doing stats. I'm going, holy crap, i got 30 minutes to pull up something here. Uh, congratulations to Donnie Schatz, World of Outlaw Champion. He's 10th. World of Outlaw Championship. He's almost halfway to Kinzer. Almost halfway to Kinzer, yeah. Someone's got to give him some competition at some point. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for watching, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Wraps up our job. It's it's Casey Kane. (coughs) But is he running ASCS or is he running a... I haven't seen his schedule yet. He's he's doing a bunch of crap. Probably ASCS a lot. Larson comes and wins when he can. World of Outlaws every so often. Uh, congratulations to our uh, USAC champions as well, Cody Swanson and Silver Crown, Tyler Courtney and uh, Sprints, and our buddy Logan Seedy with the midgets. Logan Seedy, midgets, yep. So, and, I, uh, I want to. What is the when is the uh, just because it's on my mind? What is the Copper Classic? It was supposed if it was going to happen, it was supposed to be like next weekend, but they they foregone it for 2019. They're going to try for 2020. Didn't work because Chili Bowl's right there. Yeah. Doing that. Yeah, it, it's, it did work out for 2019. Hmm. So, let's give our straight liner guys some uh, love as well. JR Todd. Yeah, Steve Torrance, our funny car champion. Steve and JR Todd are top. Um, hello. Steve Torrance, our top fuel champion. JR Todd, our funny car champion. And Tanner Gray, who uh, was our pro stock champion, he uh, set the. Uh, um, the Made history, being the youngest NHRA champion at 19 years old. Oh, <coughs> um, for Tanner Gray mm-hmm. and uh, Matt Where do you Smith. go from there, you know? Right? Uh, yeah. College? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I already won the champion. Don't talk too much about NHRA on the show here, but no. I want to give out some shout to those guys. And uh, One of these days we'll have... I, the, I will the, say that if you guys have been to... You probably have. Have you been to an NHRA pro event before? Just the Nightfire. No, that's uh, the nostalgia uh, races. Uh, yeah, man, you but gotta, no, you gotta otherwise. Go to I, I, no, I've no. never been to an NHRA. Oh, you haven't been? No. Oh, wait, scratch that. Yes. But I was young and I didn't care. Okay. Now I'm old and I don't care. Ooh. But still. You're gonna be left okay. home alone. So, TV, <laughs> TV like F1, it's not. Right, no, yeah. But being there, 
being there, and my wife, Linda, can tell you the same thing. We've been to Vegas twice to watch these guys and uh, been to a number of times. <clears throat> um, you got to see these guys in person. I, I went to one in, in Sonoma. Uh, and it was a weekend long thing, and we, I had free tickets, so I went down and hung out. And you, you hang out in the pits of those guys, fucking insane. Whole different deal. Oh. Right. I mean, the, the, the racing, it was far more active than I thought it was going to be. Because they just run, 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 run. Crazy how fast they booked those cars through. But the guys yeah. in the pits and watching them, and this was in mid 90s, and those guys were just take a motor out, strip it down, rebuild, put it back together again, put it back in the car, put like another motor in the car. Like about an hour. It was insane. It. And they were so freaking precision based. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they, do, they do the Iron Knife Fire too, with the nostalgia cars. I, 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 I just drink beer in stands for the nostalgia stuff. I don't know. But uh, just being out and watching and walking through the pits and just, oh, it was unreal. I mean, these yep. big, huge trucks, the all of the the, the the manufacturers who had their rigs there, everyone just bop, 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 bop. It was insane. These guys are hitting 10,000 horsepower nowadays. Oh, my and, God. And uh, it's unreal. I have, like, Dude. 200 and something in my car. Yeah. Mm. They're still doing the 1,000-foot uh, mark. They haven't, they haven't thought yeah. about going back to the quarter mile yet. They're still doing the 1,000-foot mark. Most tracks, right? And, yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're, now they're hitting 330. It's just a... Thousand foot mark. Can you imagine we went back to the quarter mile? Oh my god! There was a, a video posted up that I watched a couple of days ago from a, from a science channel, and they're showing the volume of fuel one cylinder sucks out Nothing in one run. Mix. Just yeah. the sheer massive amount of <laughs> yeah. eleven thousand horsepower. Yeah. Mark, Mark Floyd says they're over eleven thousand horsepower now, so possible, but yeah. Who needs more than 512 megabytes of hard drive? Well, I think... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Texas, where they have the fourplex there, I think yeah. pretty much if all four of them fire at once, they rotate the earth quicker. Probably. That's how we get weather pattern changes. That's it. Yeah. I'm thinking you guys have Vegas would make there's, it. In, in there's it. something about nitromethane, too. When you have nitromethane in the air, it's a whole different deal. Uh, it's like phys- physiology of your body will change a bit. Your skin all dries out. Your contacts used to melt in my eyes. I had to pry them out of my eyeballs. Jesus. Uh, when you get real ratio yeah. nitromethane, you kind of hope for a breeze because it is bad yeah. when they really go. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nitromethane <coughs> will make you gag. Um, walk through the pit area. Actually, go up to them when they start one up and they just have them idling. And that nitro comes up and your eyes start burning and your throat mm-hmm. start burning. You gotta walk away, and it takes you all the to... oxygen out of the air. You yeah, breathe mm-hmm. harder. You no, those things are oxygen. sucking so much through it. You gotta walk away. Well, it also makes the yeah. oxygen heavy. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. It, it's a it's a whole different deal. I'll have to uh, take you guys down to Vegas and do some time to watch it. Hope to see it's, it's yeah, see that. Between the two, I'm gonna go to see Vegas. There's shit to do yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle would just get rained on. Yeah, they've never rained that event out. Mm-hmm. Until they're in the summertime. So. Yeah. Well, it's it's first weekend in August. Same as Seafair. Seafair, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Got a good one. Let's put that on your bucket list, boys. Boys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so um, who's, uh, i got to say something about Indy. I mean, uh, if sure. you go over a mile and a half, I said Charlotte, but mm-hmm. mile, mile and a half. Phoenix, Charlotte, Indy, uh, Darlington, paved tracks. That's, that's pretty cool. Mm. Indy's, uh, Indy's Indy. And, I would uh, go to Indy. Uh, drafting and, and setting your car up for the long run at Indy. I know it's right now we're racing it on iRacing for this week, and it's tough. I mean, I've worked my ass off to finish top five there. I know iRacing's fake. I get that. Right. But you still have to do a lot of the same setup for it. And it's an hour of prep to run one of those 50-lap races for me. Well, and not to mention all the practice. you got to mm-hmm. be in there so that your mind is right, so that you understand oh, yeah. how to read the traffic. And to do what you the run professional over driver the third do. lap really sucks, by the way. I lost a rear wing in the third lap. <clears throat> it happens. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, still yeah. finished eighth. But there's <laughs> the the guys who run those, the Indy cars, F1 cars, when they do what they do, it's just you, you're a, a normal person's mind can't even comprehend no. uh, what it is they do when they're out there. And what they have to read and see at those speeds. There was a recent YouTube video I watched of a Formula One car, an Indy car, I can't remember, in the rain, where the guy went off the track because he came up on a bunch of slow cars and passed everybody in the grass and the car control and stuff. Those guys are at a different level. It's, you know, yeah. they're at a whole different level than Medi-human. what they're doing. 
Yeah. You know, for those that are watching, let us know what your favorite track is. Whether yeah. It's Pavement or oh, Dirt. Oh, we, we, they're popping up uh, on here all the Pavement time. Pavement or Dirt or, uh, you know, I want to talk about a favorite race that you saw Santana, this year. Santana, uh, Dover, Sacramento Mile, Santana. Darlington, uh, Jeremy Santana. White, Santana, and Springville, Utah. Lots of memories. Oh, yeah. My Victory Hill. Uh, yeah, there's... If you want to, if you want to go... To, you guys never heard of this track before. If you guys want to do tracks that, um, from my upbringing, that's not there anymore. Where I grew up in New Jersey, it was, it was a track called Flemings and Speedway. It was a five, eight, five eighths mile dirt track. New Jersey. Dad, my dad and I used to go to every Saturday night, and um, I miss that track so dearly. It's a modified track. DIRT modified track. Um, their their biggest race of the year at the end of the year was a two hundred lap modified race on the dirt. Oh, they started man. forty five cars. And I've got a YouTube video of that. I, I it, it, it's part of my upbringing, you know. And um, that, we don't hold it against you. Yeah. So uh, the track's not there anymore, unfortunately. But um, a lot of great memories there with my mm-hmm. dad. And, Kyle, what uh, yeah. what are your favorite tracks? What have you been to? My favorite track, uh, All American Speedway. It's where Old I started. Or new? Uh, I like the new one because it's so big. Like I've never hit the wall. Get out. You spin yeah, out. The <laughs> <laughs> you spin out. You can. The Roseville? Yeah. yeah. The front of the sheet's so fucked up. Uh, I don't care, man. I can figure it out. <laughs> Actually, it's cool. I love where you can go down and watch them way down on the wall. Well, so here's the thing is that you can do four wide there. You know, you, you could come up on a battle of two cars battling for eighth and ninth place, and you could be battling for first and second, and you could all make it happen. I mean, it, it's possible. It, it's a big, it's, wide track. It's a wide track. You can you can yeah. do crazy, crazy shit there. I've only but, watched modifieds and K&N cars. Yeah. They still but, there's still not enough room my, for a lot of those people. But my, hey, you can you can make it happen. <laughs> Tangle up all my the number <laughs> one favorite racing memory was watching Chuck Lick and Spencer Emerson both try to exit the track at the same time and sandwich <laughs> into pit lane. They had the big tires. They were wrapping That's the on old, the, on the exit wall. That was the old track. Yeah, so they were exiting off of, so the, the exit was on the back stretch. So you come all the way high, just kind of the reverse of what Twin has now, mm-hmm. where you come on the track, you come to the back stretch, so you come up way high, and then they had exit. And they had, so you come straight down the wall, and you had the turn three turn in, had those like two or three stacked trailer tires. So you used to go in and, and then come all the way back around for the pits? No, so the pit lane, so you had your oval. Like that, and you come down the back stretch, and the pits were basically along the long side. So the parking lot was on the back stretch, and the fan set on the front stretch. And then along this side, there's a road that ran back there, and that was all pit lane. Roseville. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they were coming off, and you come down the hill, and then you split all the all the late models and everybody's this side, and all the mini stocks, and everyone else is on that side. And they were both trying to come off at the same time, mm-hmm. and they just <laughs> ended the night. Yeah, yeah they got all sandwiched in there. And they're like, they're, they're stuck. Because they were full speed. They were racing, and then something happened. Yellow came out, and they both tried to get off on a big race. And these two fuckers just click, mm-hmm. perfectly sandwiched. <laughs> like, well, and they were going to cut a, and Chuck Glick was on the outside, and they had to, they were going to have to cut his car apart to get them off because the tire had crunched them in together. And he was like, you're not going to cut my car. <laughs> And it, it took him the rest of the night to figure shit, that yeah. shit out. Mm-hmm. And the guy who freaking uh, <coughs> stole the, jumped in the car, took off. Some driver jumped in somebody else's car, took off, and all the Went down the street. Down. <laughs> we awesome. did some crazy shit in the 80s, man. Because <laughs> <Amazing. laughs> uh, All American Speedway is in the heart. It's just like Meridian. It's in the heart of downtown. Yeah. And somebody jumped in somebody else's race car and tore off out of the pits and raced all the way through downtown Roseville. All right, regionally, I think um, uh, different series. Um, I don't know that the RPMS, the former RPMS, I, Interme- you know, the Intermountain Outlaw Modified Series, I don't know that we had a great race. Um, mm. We had some okay races. I'd say the, the one bad race we had. <laughs> <Well, laughs> we all know the which one. one. Which one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the... The first night of Diamond Cup, not Diamond Cup, the, the two-night show we did, what was that? Diamond was that Diamond Cup? The first time Diamond Cup was pretty fucking awesome. As far as good quality racing yeah. on the track. Yeah, the, it was. the product presented was fantastic. I think, I think um, yeah, that might have been my favorite night. I think it was the best night of the year. Yeah, Diamond Cup was a good show. Yeah. Um, the King of the Wing stuff was good. Mm-hmm. Um, we lost a lot of cars on the lap four wreck. 
Um, you know, we had a good car count and all that for that. Mm -hmm. um, looking at, at the truck series, I think they're racing ready and we're... Uh, and they got cars back on the lead lap and oh. it ended up was boring as fuck. And then all of a sudden, like 10 to go, it was like you the had best race of the year. 10 laps of awesome racing, followed by 50 laps of good beer. This. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, like, five laps of what the fuck? It was, it, it, and it was great racing. <laughs> oh, it was unbelievable. Yeah, with Newhouse and Gomez mm -hmm. and Mason. Who was third? Was it? Was it? Uh, uh, not Mason. That... Um, Jason, Quali. Quali, yes. And the other car got back on the lead lap. And so the Pro Truck Series, you know, tip their hat. We talked about them on the show before I, on that race. I think discussion. that race was the number one race of the year. Ever. Oh, no. no. Nah. You did, that's because you didn't go. You weren't there when... Uh, mm -hmm. for you King weren't there, King of the Wing. King of the Wing. The second night? Yep. Both I, nights were great. Nights we could. No, I was there all the first night. Second night, I take Manny home. Yeah. 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 And while the product of the race, but uh, I, I, when you can have a guy who can hold up the leaders and race them right... Get his lap back and still compete, and do what they did. Mm -hmm. That made. That's why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. yep. That it, exemplified it, we're racing at, the leader and not giving up, not laying up. You know, you guys will be, of course, part of this since you're officials on the series. But the Intermountain Outlaw Modified Series, we may have a we may have a lucky dog this year. We get more cars on the lap. We're going to have an invert. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I, somebody asked me, well, how come you never do an invert? We did the last race. What happened? The car spun out and took out half the field <laughs> in, the, in the invert. Mm -hmm. We were going to figure it out and see the word. But what do you do? Yeah. You wreck half. Yeah. Um, um, Matty Lee says the Bullring in Vegas is his favorite track, I'm assuming. Mark Floyd yeah, says he just ran there. the mm -hmm. best race was the NSRA King of the Wing weekend. He's right. The amount of cars that, we had both that, nights. He's right. As a weekend of racing. Yeah. Not well, that, one particular race. That, that race that, Saturday that, night was the best race. That was awesome. You, that, you missed the, the best race of the year. I'm sorry. I love you, yeah. but you missed it. If you'd have saw it, you'd be going, fuck yeah. Uh, Colton passing Hine on the last well, corner. Thought, yeah. And that would have been awesome to see. The fans were all standing up going nuts. I mean, people were standing. Marines, people, nobody stands up and goes crazy. And they stood up and went crazy. It's about <laughs> as crazy as the fans are. Uh, yeah. My proudest moment of the year was, we talked about this, but it was Trunk or Treat. I was oh, very proud. So, yeah. Yeah. Of our, our community, very mm -hmm. proud yeah. of the people. Um, yeah, um, that was just fun. Yeah, just yeah. putting smiles on kids' faces and stuff like that. Yeah, fun. And and yeah. hanging with you know hanging with all the friends and everybody, Sam and Michelle and everybody, yep. and the two guys. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, this is going to get a little soapy, so I have to apologize for a second. Uh, we're saying goodbye to Royal Purple, of course. Right, um, mm -hmm. they're gone. Uh, they're not doing any motorsports activity uh, this year, from what we understand. Um, and uh, we, we put on a great uh, presentation for them and so forth. Mm -hmm. They're very upset. The people that I work with at Royal Purple are upset that they're not back with us. Mm -hmm. um, but Royal Purple's turned a different direction on a couple of things. So I don't know that they're doing anything at all with motorsports. So we're looking for, of course, a title sponsor. We've got some things in the works that are going to be productive. I'm going to do some phone calls tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have our schedule out by, uh, by Tuesday. Tuesday at okay. uh, midnight, hopefully. We'll have our schedule out. Um, we got to talk to a couple people. You know who they are mm -hmm. uh, to, get, to get that handled. But probably my highlight of 2018 was, uh, <laughs> and this is going to be a little bit weird, but getting to know you two guys better. The show yeah. here, DJ, I didn't really know you. And uh, getting to know you as a friend, and now I love yeah. you. You're like a brother to me. Uh, Donovan, you always have been a good friend of mine. And we've gone through ups and downs. We've been through this and that and the other. But getting to know you two guys has probably been my highlight as far as racing goes this year. Going to Europe with my wife, and that was personal, you know, but uh, but yeah, having fun here with you guys yeah. in the bunker, the grandma's bunker. <laughs> grandma's bunker. Uh, <clears throat> I would have to echo that. It's actually grandma's house. We're just out in the garage. Yeah. She would, kicked us out. I would have to echo that. Um, in addition to what you said, um, the friendships I gained through your series as well um, for me. And... Um, and out there in Twin Falls, announcing out there in Twin Falls like it, like it did last year, the friendships I gained out there at that track as well. So I gained a lot of friends in the racing journey yeah. here in, in the area. It means a lot to me. Yeah. So. And speaking of our friend DeJesus, the Jesus, the busiest announcer in the history of motorsports. <laughs> I know. Let's count to Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Intermountain Outlaw Modified Series. Announcer. Yeah. And committed, I hope. Yeah. Uh, Black Canyon Speedway. Yeah. Northwest Pro Four Alliance. Yeah. 
Twin Falls. Yeah. Turn five dot live. Yeah. What the fuck else? Snake River Carters. Snake yep. River Carters. <laughs> and he's got a he's got a race car of his own. That he and hasn't he got has, on the track. He's never out on the track because he's, he's too, too busy. busy pumping us. Yeah. Mm. It's a true yeah. story. Yeah. Kind of think about it. Yeah. It's kind of... <laughs> so he's got six or seven things going on, and his wife's not left him yet. But you know, not yet. It, not yet. We're working um, on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nice We're gonna get you a couple more things. To keep you busy. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> is it Donald? Yeah. No, I uh, man, I've had a great year. I mean, as, far, as much as 2018 was kind of a shitty year for a lot of people, I look back on that. Man, I, I had a really blessed year. Uh, yeah, my car didn't work half the time and it got wadded up in a wall. But, you know, I got to this year uh, live out a couple of racing dreams that I've ever had. I got to, to announce yeah. at Black Canyon. Yeah. Uh, so that was ridiculously stressful. And I sucked horribly. But fun. It was fun. I got to race with Kyle, even though he had a limped car that sucked. And my, we lost both motors that night. That was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got to do this. This has been, as stressful as it is to get all this shit working, it's been uh, awesome. I've it's loved. we tried to do it a half hour before the right. show. Right, because we, we make that call like Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I guess we'll do a show. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a rule like no beer before the show is ready. Yeah. Well, I have nothing to do because I don't understand anything. I don't know. I just <laughs> I turn on my laptop when I sit here. That's what and, I do. And the rules don't apply to us. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Were you drinking that? <laughs> I, I, when, when it's show day, I start drinking like four. You got like because I got a fifty bucks worth of microphones sitting around here that don't fucking work right now. <laughs> So we need. Uh, so we have sponsorship really opportunities. Bad. We have sponsorship opportunities. But so again, for for the show this week, I've already we've laid out some new overlays. Yes, so we'll doing, have actual kind of overlays. Show, actually. Uh, we started the process with that, and I've actually, if you see me texting, I've got the guy who's been helping me design that. We've been talking. Um, so getting that done, uh, we're going to make backdrop. We're going to get the walls painted up. Uh, yep. So sponsorship monies will definitely help. Uh, and upgrading this piece of shit. We're, we're uh, every other week from now until then. We have to decide that with our listeners watching. What, why every other week? Well, we can do it every week, but is there enough content? Yeah, for is there enough content? Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, Without because I've had a whiteboard filled with content. Yeah, but nobody liked that. <laughs> nobody <laughs> liked it. <laughs> it's not true. That's not true. Sorry. We, had, we, had, we actually we walked through all that content last yeah. year. No, no, that no, that was my, that was a whole my, different white. I had my come to Jesus. I've got multiple white whiteboards. Anyway, so no, we got a we got a lot of great things coming up for 2019. We'll have some overlays. Hopefully, we'll upgrade the computer here the pretty soon. The show's going to go a lot more professional, but we're still going to keep our banter that we have. But it's going to look more professional on YouTube, Boom. and the quality of the of the broadcast. Will we'll be have better. transition screens. <laughs> we'll have more than and, one and camera opening shot. and. Well, I've yeah. got it. I just, with this computer, I'm, li- I'm lacking. One you know, of the computers in Grandma's other room. <laughs> my my work computer's in the other room. In, he's living with his grandma, I guess. Right. One other thing i got to mention, only because I don't want to piss off John and Val. I'm doing stuff right. Oh, I did. Oh, in 2019. Yes. So, sorry, Who is that again? So Never John heard of him. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, John. Yeah, sorry, John and Val. I didn't want to forget you guys either. So Yes, yeah. that, oh. those guys are fantastic. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention that. that oh, no. Meeting those two people this year was a kick in the ass. Yeah. Meeting Sam Newcomer was mm-hmm. a kick oh, yeah. in the ass. Yeah. Sam and Michelle and little Sam. Um, and Michelle and little Sammy. Oh, and, yeah, and, uh, and getting to know the quality of people yeah. that John and Val, yeah. Sam and Michelle and Sammy, uh, DJ, uh, it's been the highlight of my year. As far as racing yeah. friends, I mean, I, I did go to Europe. i got to say that was fun. Mm-hmm. But... but Fuck, man. I'm a lucky, lucky man to have you guys as friends. I really appreciate you. As you say oh, that, you guys too. give me one more. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. What's but I really appreciate that. Yeah, those guys are awesome people. And they're John Adele, really um, while I was at the track, I also Matt Egley and his crew kind of took me in as well. Um, 
God, those guys are great guys. Yeah. I mean, all, all the teams are great. Yeah. You know, but Levi, Maddie, all of them. Uh, but all those guys are always yeah. like, come on in and hang out for a little while if They're, you want. A bunch you know? of badasses, man. And I love that. And, you know? and, and, you know, my ongoing relationship with Kyle and Neil and, yeah. and Eric Reed and Jeremy White. Getting to know John Gomez, Jonathan Gomez. Yeah. 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 Um, continuing with um, the Mark Newman. Um, the people that are associated with our deal all the way through Scotty Gilligan and his oh, wife. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. It's good that's folks. That's another um, one. Yep. You know, and, and looking forward to the bars. Looking forward to um, um, Telford's. Yep. And and look and looking forward to Chris Fenton and, and, and hopefully Shelby and and, uh, and uh, Caitlin and, and their team and and um, just looking forward and uh Pat Tully. Oh yeah, Tim Tim Elam. I mean, the, yeah. these guys that are associated with. I mean, I'm missing some people. I don't know this, but uh, looking, you know. Uh, oh God, the Huntsaker. Oh my God, Huntsakers. Yes. Oh God. I Let's mean, see, yeah, yeah. You're talking about quality people all the way through. Um, yeah. yeah. It's easier to name the people we don't like than the people we like. I, I I'm, I'm gonna piss somebody off. Well, so, you know, I won't mention them. I'm the promoter, so all I'm gonna be. But um, shit. Um, getting to know, uh, getting the working relationships that I've had up to this point with Magic Valley Speedway, with Meridian Speedway, with Hermiston, uh, with most of the group at RMR, have been fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and we look forward to having those again. It looks like you know we'll make some calls, and if those of you that are interested in what's going on with our schedule, you'll have at least three tracks to race at next year. Um, We'll figure out that way to make that work. We're going to have some fun. Um, there's going to be a lot of different things going on. It's going to be a little bit different here. Um, and our rules meeting will be hopefully the... I wanted to do it the week of the Chili Bowl. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe the Wednesday night of Chili Bowl week. Um, so that would be in the like 19th? 13th or something. Uh, 12th or 19th? Something like that. 12th. Say Thursday or Wednesday? 12th. Like a Wednesday. I think I haven't figured that out yet, but it's going to be this month. Um, I got to look at my home. I got to look at my schedule at work, so I'm in town. But um, anyway, we'll do our rules meeting, and um, you'll all be able to voice your opinions at that rules meeting. It won't be set in stone. You're not going to get forced fed. This is what's going to happen at that rules meeting. Um, but uh, looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to 2019. It's a bit different for us. Uh, losing Royal Purple, don't go at that like it was always a negative thing. Royal Purple were great to us. Those people were fine. They did everything they said they were going to do there towards the end. Um, so it was good. Just because you don't have a title sponsor doesn't mean the series isn't worthy. Also, without Royal Purple there, it also opens us up for more sponsorship opportunities that we may not have had prior. Okay? So there are things in the works. There are people that want to sponsor our show. Our, our deal that you guys do, and um, I just want everybody to keep working on their cars. You're going to have some great racing this year and some exciting stuff. And uh, we'll let that all out of the bag when the time comes. But um, as far Probably as Probably right I, around that 13th, uh, 19th. Don't, uh, you all know my number. You know how to get a hold of me. Don't hesitate to give me a call or text me if you have some ideas or things that make the series better. It's always been about you guys uh, and us. But I'm not losing any fire. I'm not losing. I'm not feeling the shitty. I'm not... I'm not down in any way. In fact, I probably have more fire in my belly right now for 2019 than I've had uh, for any year, the last three or four at least. So, um, yes, that's from my pulpit. That's how yeah. it goes. Yeah. It's 8.30. 8 R. Anything else? Um, I don't no, think so. Just nothing just looking, yeah. uh, we also want to thank our, our new sponsor. This uh, just came out. Donovan is rebranding some of his products into generic brands. You're going to see some new advertising and some new things come out. whole bunch of new stuff. There's a whole new show for that. Yes, it's coming out. Uh, it's going to be a bit different. Uh, you notice we're not talking about Lion Tamer and Charmaine. So those same high-quality products are still available and through the website, www.voltvapes.com. What are the other ones? Um, so right now everything is through generic brand. Generic brand. Generic brand. brand. No S. Brand. Okay. Uh, .xyz. Uh, I'll have a lot of that uh, today. I finish up the website, a lot of the website, uh, getting all my labels up and running. So this, through this week into next, is going to be the soft opening of the website uh, to get it up and running. But cool. we've got cool uh, thing is high quality products and more of them, more opportunity for Donovan yeah. to do things with more focus. Uh, with more focus allows me to uh, to because we all know social media marketing is is kind of where we have to go. Uh, marketing multiple. 
brands was hard. So in uh, in organizing it down, uh, a lot of you have seen uh, the with the vinyl side, the sticker shack, uh, the e liquid, the beard balm, the lip balm. Uh, I have other products we're working on. So healthcare, skincare, sex wax. I'm telling you, he needs we're, a sex we're, wax. We're working on a on a vagina wax for Todd, so he'll feel better about all himself. Those, all those vaginas <laughs> I hit need waxed. <laughs> But no, we got a whole bunch of that coming out. So when we start doing and getting all this stuff painted up, we'll have <laughs> plenty of there. We'll have some samples to give away in shows. I'll teach you after the show. Please, that'd be great. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if you want to talk about this. Just a teaser, new for 2019. You want to talk a little bit about that or what? not? Just a teaser. You know what I'm saying? So uh, along with the, the rebranding, all all this stuff, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some things that I've always wanted to do. Uh, and when Todd brought this up, I thought this was a great opportunity for me to learn and to do some things uh, that we can apply here, that I can apply elsewhere. And we're going to start a, uh, because it's a passion of mine, it is something that burns deeply within me. Kind of like herpes. <laughs> but <laughs> deeper. Uh, more like crabs, more of an irritant that stays around for a while. Ooh, herpes doesn't go away, dude. <laughs> well, it kind of comes and goes, comes and goes. Uh, no, anyway, uh, so we're going to do a uh, something that's, that's a passion of mine. Uh, Kyle's going to help out. Uh, DJ's going to help out. We've got some other people are going to help out. We're going to make a front-wheel drive-based racing show uh, that is focused on setups, on concepts, on learning. And uh, I've loved... Is the audio going to work? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I actually work on on, on the regular. Uh, we've got a new forum coming up that we're working on uh, to go nationwide with because it's something that, that I am deeply passionate about. Uh, I know Kyle does a I lot of it. I am too. Um, I, this is something that I've kind of been thinking you about for just, a while. I want to make sure that you yep. know, we, we, this is something where people who want to just, you know, build a car for first-time racers, somebody who doesn't know certain things, we get this forum coming up. We want you to ask your questions. We want people to answer. We even want to do a little bit of like a, maybe YouTube videos on how to's, like how to make these cars and how to make them work. So that would be something that uh, I'm a little bit passionate about too. So I think together we're going to be able to really make that take off. Yep. So that that'll be coming here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this show will still maintain. We've got a bunch growing here for again graphics packages, kind of how the flow of the show goes. Uh, keep it a little tighter, keep it a little cleaner. It'll be cleaner, I won't be here. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, for the for the Sunday night shows. Oh, yeah, but for the front wheel drive show. Right? That's going to be a different night. Yeah. You feel less gray. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they got sprays for that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are interested in how hard a cranium could bounce off concrete? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Anyway. Dribble Kyle's head. <laughs> <laughs> he loves me. Like a so, Let's try it out, Thunder Penis. But that's Thunder Penis. <laughs> I'm a skull fuck you. <laughs> Give it a run. All right. Well, for Todd Labronti, for Donovan Johns, for Kyle Clayton. I don't know why their last name's different. It's a long it's story. Different. It's a long story. We have different parents. DJ Jazzy Everett over here. <laughs> that would make I'm it Tom easier. I'm Todd Labronti. We'll see you at the races.